sniper zambos. Vampire nests. This, this game's, game's gonna, gonna get, get real intense. Boo armor. Boo armor. Hey kittens, welcome back to Boo armor. You're here with Sunshine and Finger Wiener. We just kicked Diana out of our house. Eric is trying to carry us back to bed. We're hoping we get it in, but probably fucking not. A. Eh? Let's go. I don't know. I feel like we're pretty close to the end. Or, okay, let's just let's just I, hope for the best. This is very formulaic. Trying to get my dick formula wet. Formula okay? typically says. Just trying to get my dick wet. You get boned at the end. <laughs> I feel like that is not gonna happen. All right. Mm. Eric then wrapped an arm around my shoulders and lowered his other arm underneath my knees. I easily held on to him, and he lifted me up like a blushing bride and carried me out of the room toward my room. Boo. I'm. Just... Eric was kind enough to know my mind and would, would not force the issue no matter what. He was too sweet, and I didn't deserve his kindness. Is, is she talking about sex? Um, I, have no, I hope not. Me too. <laughs> Eric gently lowered me to my bed before petting my head with a loving oh, smile. Oh, no. I was beaming and happy. Give me the D. As Eric turned to leave, I slowly sank into the covers, relaxing. Oh. The sound of footsteps echoed before finally I was alone. Oh. Boo. Pillows. Close <sighs> my eyes. Lame. I'll, um, I'll be ready when I'm ready. Did what? we do something wrong? What? I didn't make a choice. I don't remember making a choice. What the fuck is this? Yeah, it didn't happen. Hold on. Let's just. I will not leave here empty handed. God damn you. I tried to open my eyes at the sound, but I felt my eyes. Re I felt my eyes remain shut. Good. I felt my eyes remain shut. Okay, I'm over it. Uh, the, the, I instinctively you're... wanted to. Okay. I, you know, not till the bitter end. But my body felt frozen. What was Diana doing? I felt my body lift up from the bed, leaving me to hover and quake in fear. I wanted to scream, but my voice was frozen as well. I felt Diana move to angle her face over mine. I wanted to move away, but at the same time, I felt like I was blissfully melting in her gaze. Well, if I can't return home with the boys, I might as well return home with the power to fight back. Diana finally leaned in and kissed me. Finally. Okay. I tightened my closed eyes, feeling the need to bite her lips, but finding no muscles in my face, listening to my mental commands. What did she do to me? I didn't want to enjoy it, but every single nerve in my body was flaring in excitement and pleasure as she kissed me. I felt my energy drain slowly, but forcefully from my body. Was she using her magic to force energy out of my body? It seemed like forever, but finally, Diana pulled away from the kiss with an audible lick of her lips. She lowered me back onto the patio and chuckled. Weren't we in bed? Patio? It's at the patio. The fuck okay, for some reason I could feel her presence. She felt stronger and more powerful. It was almost like looking at a new Diana. Dirty Diana! As I was lowered back into bed. Diana what? chuckled at me. <laughs> I don't know. I grew even more fearful. What was she going to... Was she going to go for the boys now? To my surprise, her presence vanished, and I felt at ease. It was like an on and off switch Diana pulled on me. Was this normal? Hell no. She was a major nut job. I relaxed slightly, trying to sleep again. Thankfully. Thankfully. I succeeded. The rest of the story can... Oh, all right, pause. Click load. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, oh, okay, uh, uh, go back, go back. Are you okay, princess? Uh, uh, okay. Uh. I nodded in response, unable to speak so, oh, immediately after being surprised. Okay. I could hear, hear Eric's heartbeat. He held me close in his arms, and I felt safe beyond words. Sorry. I felt like the accent was important. My sweet princess, how you've captured my heart. I looked up at Eric, wondering what he meant by what he said. Eric smiled down at me, moving a strand of my hair from my face to look down at me. I'm selfish, ignorant, and undeserving of everything you have done and given me. The way you accept me and see through my mask astounds me beyond words. 
And now you've captured my heart and claimed it as yours to probably be the greatest adversary in the Abyssal Plains. You've made a demon fall in love with you. I've fallen in love with you and I want to give you everything you deserve! Like the D! Yay! I stared wide-eyed, blushing like a maniac. Was this real? No way. This couldn't be real. I, I, nothing's coming to mind. Was Eric confessing to me? Confessing his love <laughs> for me? Eric gently smiled and caressed my cheek. The warmth of it, you can tell it's serious because the music. <laughs> the warmth of his hand invited me to nuzzle into it, and I closed my eyes. This wasn't a dream. My heart was pounding hard enough where I was sure Eric could hear it. Eric gently leaned in, closing his eyes. He stopped, however, remaining just a mere torturous <laughs> inch away from my lips. Hey, I'm just. You know what? That, that's the real thing. Like, have you ever seen, uh... Sorry, kitten. <laughs> oh, no. Have you ever seen How I Met Your Mother? No. One of the most memorable things, he meets this baker, but she has to, like... They can't work out, but they have this chemistry, so they kiss without kissing. Like, they cut... They, she says, the best part is when you're right about to kiss all that anticipation. So they almost kiss. It's that's true. That's when your butterflies pick up. Yeah, it's 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 as good as I, you would expect it to be, if not better. Anyway, but that's not how you get, get your dick wet. That's true, that, and that's what we're going for. He wanted me to show my feelings for him. He had let himself open for he had left himself open for me to kiss him or leave him empty. The power I had was. <laughs> <laughs> I have to stare at you when I say these embarrassing things. The power I had was unbelievable. Kiss him! Oh. Caress his cheek, my ass. <laughs> right? We didn't play through this like six times just right. in this episode. I loved him, and I wanted to give him exactly what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> I gently leaned in, letting my lips finally touch his gingerly. Eric let out almost a pleasured purr against my lips. Sound effects. There we go. Before wrapping both of his oh, arms wait, wait, around wait. my waist. Yeah, get right up on the mic. <laughs> I, I ruined it. I laughed. I you ruined it. it. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, before wrapping both of his arms around my waist, pulling me close to him, I moved my arms up and around his neck, <coughs> feeling the kiss between us deepen to a heated height. That doesn't mean anything. My chest was pounding, making me feel and see fireworks in my mind. <laughs> my buttermilk my butter bosom sweating would be... That, that, that would be better than this. Yeah. Uh, I thought you, know, you were about to chastise me for no, copyrighting. It's not copyrighted. It's just a cliche. <laughs> <laughs> Eric was everything I desired. He was the man I wanted, demon or not. Or not. Nah. I, I it was all so it. supernatural to fall in love with someone so quickly. Maybe it was a sense of magic I was thrown into. Maybe it was Cupid playing with my ball sack. Either way, I find myself melting at the thought of him being with me. Eric's naked. Gonna be, Eric's going to be surprised later. <laughs> <laughs> playing with that ball sack. <laughs> I found myself... I, I like how you're going for sultry, and I'm just like <laughs> romance. I found not even. I'm just like the She's naive. Yeah, I found myself combing my fingers through Eric's hair, making the man holding me softly tremble at my touch. He gently nibbled on my lower lip, asking me to deepen the kiss between us even further. I easily teased him before finally opening my mouth slightly for him. <laughs> His tongue. Yeah. He his tongue gently danced with mine as one of his hands slid up my back and cradled my head. He gently leaned my body back, making me cling to him as the heat of our kiss rose higher and hotter for sex. <laughs> <laughs> have, have we already put a link in? No, to but the, I will this time. Yeah, okay. Sandra Hills, oh. Rough and Ready, so funny. Mm -hmm. 
Gently, though, Eric... <laughs> Tone different. Eric slowed the kiss down and pulled away, staring <laughs> down at me. His eyes burned for me, wanting me to melt and buckle in his arms. I mean, I melt and buckling. Never mind. <laughs> I could feel myself melt already. <laughs> oh, God. We're just gonna... Eric opened his mouth to speak, but a very small blush ran across his cheeks. He was reduced to shy silence. I stared as he tried to find the words to say in my eyes. I knew exactly what he wanted. He didn't need energy, though, right? Shwink, shwink. Shwink, shwink. Do you have a boner? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> For once, she, she, fingers not talking to me. <laughs> Are you hard right now? No, 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 no. I, I just, uh, I just, uh. I stared wide. <laughs> Feeling a blush on my cheeks grow. He didn't say anything more, but I knew what words would have followed if he continued. Shh. He wanted me. Sexually. <laughs> I was stunned. Was that I that appealing to him? Was his passion really that deep for me? Eric gently nuzzled my forehead, losing the blush and finally being able to speak. A small chuckle escaped his lips. If you don't want to, we don't have to. I do have to shower after all, but you need your rest. We, we can shower together. Right? It's, Jesus it's Christ, fine. take off your pants, goddamn. I could feel my mind go numb and purr. My mind purred? Yeah. At the idea? A moment with, my, with an incubus. He was a demon of sex, the purest form of lust and desire. <laughs> my world... <laughs> You make it so hard to do this straight. <laughs> My straight about me, isn't it? Wait, but it's so funny. <laughs> I, I was reading ahead. That's what, that's what my problem is. I saw my world would rock and started laughing. My world would rock and I would enjoy every second of it. At the same time, I was indeed inexperienced. Diana wasn't wrong when she claimed me to be innocent. Did she want to give that innocence to him? Did I want to, not Diana, she's not here anymore. Did I want to give that innocence to him? Especially this early? Duh. Hells yeah. I found myself forgetting the words yes and no. What could I say to him? I knew then what I wanted, but how to say it without breaking the moment. 